Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. I am your Viprajesh again, and in this video, I am here to cover you with the mid-level EX variant of the Hyundai Vena. This here is the petrol variant, though. And uh, first of all, uh, you might have already seen my review of the SX optional, that was the top end, and this here is the mid-level variant. But even though being the mid-level variant, I would say that this is the most value for money variant in the Hyundai Vena's lineup because it's got, it's still got a whole lot of features. First of all, on the exteriors, you can see that the grille is really similar to that of the top-end model. However, you do not get projectors set up for the headlamps. You get projectors for the fog lamps only, which is kind of unique, but still it works. There is no compromise in terms of looks, uh, except for the lack of alloy wheels. These are 15-inch steel wheels provided on this EX model. However, it looks fine though. The uh, wheel caps themselves are looking nice despite being wheel caps. Coming on over to the rear, there is basically no difference except for uh, the lack of badging of an XS, uh, sorry SX and the 1.6 uh, diesel. This here is the 1.4 petrol and you do not get any sort of badging. But still the overall looks are really nice. You get four parking sensors just like on the top end model and the reverse parking camera as well even on this mid-level variant the surprising fact is that you also get a shark fin antenna how good is that however you do not get an electronic sunroof as on the top and sx optional but still this has got a whole lot of features to boast of you do not get chrome uh, plated door handles and you do not get uh, push button start with the smart key access but still it looks nice you get nice long chrome window line and uh, just get this car and swap some alloys and that's all this is good to go that's how good is uh, that's how good this car is in terms of value for money and overall features list so let me just get inside the cabin to show you what all this variant has to offer yes guys i'm right now inside the cabin of the 1.4 liter uh, petrol engine equipped Hyundai Vena EX and this is the actual interior of it if you might have seen my SX optional review and then this might not surprise you at all because everything looks exactly similar except for uh, this smaller 5 inch infotainment system and the leather wrapping on the steering wheel which is absent on this variant and uh, of course the 3d infotainment MID sorry the instrument clusters MID on the SX optional, there was a 3D uh, customized uh, the 3D version of the MID, whereas in this version, this variant it does not have it. There is just a plain, uh, well, black and white MID, which provides you almost all the data you need. And even this setup is controlled through the switches on the steering wheel only. So as you can see, it's basic. It gives you all the info you need, except for the fact that there is no drama or 3D. Uh, animation or anything 3d graphics or anything but it works it's totally fine yeah apart from that a surprising thing is that this car gets automatic headlamps just like on the top end variant despite it does not have a larger touchscreen or android auto or apple carplay it gets automatic headlamps but however no automatic wipers even on the top end uh, itself and uh, yeah another lacking thing is that you do not get telescopic steering wheel adjustment but come on yeah this is good enough the tilt adjustment is good enough there is nice range to it everything still feels well built every quality bit has been carried over to this mid-level variant as well the uh, ac console the controls for the air, uh, automatic climate control is exactly the same including the hazard lamp switch which is a really good thing and these are really nice quality bits everything feels uh, good to touch and good in quality so yeah, let me just turn this off okay yeah so that's a really good thing yeah coming to the center console lower part this here is the uh, cubby hole with of course the smart charger usb charger carried over from the top end variant which is really good because uh, certain manufacturers tend to cut costs by cutting off such essential features but the Hyundai Verna does not. You get a USB charger, sorry, you, you get the USB port with the aux exactly as on the top end variant. However, you do not get the accessory socket uh, plug, which provides you a smart USB charger instead of this 12 volt charging socket as seen on the SX optional. This is just a plain 12 volt round charging socket. That works, it's fine. 
It's okay. We are coming to the transmission. This here is the six-speed manual transmission. Uh, all Hyundai Venas are equipped with six-speed manual transmissions only. There is no option for a five-speed manual. It's either a six-speed manual or a six-speed torque converter automatic. And uh, this one is a really slick shifting unit. It's nice and slick. It's short. It's it's easy. It's flippy. It's really good. And uh, yeah, you got a reverse camera as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. This variant has got a reverse camera as well. It's a small display. There is no okay. Yeah, it even has got adaptive guidelines. How good is that? But the quality could have been a little bit better. But come on, yeah, this it's a feature which is rarely rarely available on middle variants on every other car. So yeah, coming to the rest of the things, of course you get the very same cubby holes, cup holders, which is really helpful, and the very helpful armrest with a storage bin uh, bin underneath. It's sliding as well. It's really good. And coming on to the driver door, you get all the controls which uh, you already saw on the top end variant. It even gets one touch down and one touch up for the driver window, even on this mid level like EX variant. Despite the fact that this variant does not get auto folding mirrors, how good is that? That's how Hyundai actually plans uh, with features, and I think that this is a really good variant distribution in terms of features. Another surprising bit is that even this mid-level variant has got cruise control. So, yeah, these are really essential features for a highway cruising person and that's what Hyundai has provided. Despite the fact that this is not even the top-end model. I think that this is good enough. And uh, yeah, another essential part is that you get driver seat height adjustment, which the basic variant does not offer. So this car gets almost everything right, almost every essentials right. That's that's the underlining point. You get dual airbags and ABS and uh, EBD as standard from the entry level variant itself. But this variant does not get six airbags as on the top end model. You do not get side curtain airbags or anything else. Just get two airbags. But this is a really solid car when you compare with uh, say a Maruti Sierra or a Honda City. At least that's what it feels like. Yeah, you can uh, clearly uh, hear the much more uh, solid and reassuring thud when you close the door. It's good. It uh, really feels satisfying. And uh, so, yeah, let me just get into the back seat to show you how does it look like and feels when you compare it, uh, to the top end model. Yes, guys, I'm right now in the back seat of the EX Hyundai Verna Petrol Manual. And uh, from the back seat, this is the look you get. It's not much of a difference when you compare with the SX optional, but however, you do get certain features lacking. But I don't think that's a big minus point. You get almost all the features you will ever need. Well, useful features you will ever need. Let me just uh, get to the back seat, and uh, yeah, this here is the back seat. I am actually sitting pretty comfortable. The legroom is overall comparable to the top end model, just about average given my height of 5'10. And I have got a little bit longer legs than average, so it's okay. I can do long drives over here. However, the only minus point I found out is that the rear seats do not have height adjustable headrests, which is kind of a bummer. And uh, yeah, these are fine. These are just neck rests instead of being headrests, but uh, it's okay. I mean, how how expensive would that have been? Hyundai should really provide adjustable headrests on every model given the fact that this is a mid-size sedan not a compact sedan like the Accent or anything So yeah, you got power windows all the way you got nice metal finished uh, door handles even even at the back You got nice large one liter bottle holders in the doors and uh, Instead of leather wrap on the top end model uh, on the top end model you might have seen that the armrests area was padded by nice soft leather but in this variant this armrest part is not padded at all these are just hard plastics however you get a nice sort of uh, well knit fabric over here which is which is nice but i didn't expect that at all but it works fine however a good point is that you get isofix child seat mounts as standard on every variant and there is even a nice large label over there however another surprising part is also that this variant even though do not uh, does not have adjustable headrests in the back seat it gets a rear center armrest with a couple cup holders 
how crazy is that these are nice large size cup holders and well built as well it's a nice thick armrest and uh, yeah the good things follow further you get uh, individual ac vents for the rear seats as on the top end variant along with a usb charging socket how good is that so basically this is a really good uh, back seat uh, well almost really good except for the lack of uh, adjustable headrests and i think that this is really value for money really really value for money even better than the top end variant i should say yeah the top end variant gets uh, what additional extra fancy features such as a larger touch screen android auto apple carplay and uh, ventilated seats sort of thing but this car gets most of the essentials right it gets cruise control it gets automatic headlamps it gets a reverse parking camera which is so much more essential and automatic ac most importantly so what do you say do let me know so let me just conclude this review before concluding this re review let me just pop open the hood of this petrol engine equipped hyundai verna and uh, yeah i forgot to show you the keys these are the actual keys for this uh, ex variant and these are nice chunky flip keys it's better than uh, well almost every other car in this category it's really heavy as well surprisingly heavy for your pocket and it's really nice it's good to see that hyundai provides uh, attention to detail in uh, almost everything so let me just pop open the rather heavy bonnet oh my god okay this is a really heavy bonnet with some heavy neat under bonnet cladding just like on the diesel variant and this here is the 1.4 liter non turbocharged petrol engine it's got four cylinders and a six speed manual transmission so this is also a really creamy smooth engine however um i think that it could use a little bit of additional torque so that we should conclude only after the drive so for now this is just a walk around review so do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the hyundai verna's ex variant i think that this is the best variant in hyundai verna's lineup given the fact that it's got almost every feature right and every feature available so yeah and the price is also really great this variant costs around uh, just around 11.5 lakhs on road and uh, well for the diesel that is and for the petrol i think that it's cost it costs around just 10.7 lakhs or something so yeah do let me know in the comment section below meanwhile this is viprajesh signing off see you on another video thank you for watching thanks for watching this video please subscribe for more videos if you like this video click the like button and give your comments